Good morning. Right, I'm thinking about getting up now. I was going to get up slightly earlier, but then I could hear it raining. Any light rain, but now it seems to have stopped. Didn't have the best night's sleep. Hopefully if we can go up now, maybe it doesn't rain anymore, the tent may dry out a little bit before I need to pack it up. Before we need to start making a move. Still quite early, but I'm going to try and get a good day's walking in, in today. Right, so I'll see you a bit later. Right, as you can see, I'm all packed up, ready to go. So it's going to be quite an early start, it's just after half seven. You see there's no evidence I've been here, even though it's um, a campsite. One advantage of the campsite is there's bins, so you can get rid of your rubbish. So all I've got to do is uh, go up to the, uh, the toilet block. I've got a bottle of water there that I want to want, don't want to take with me so um, I'll drink as much as I can throw the rest out and throw the bottle away get my gaiters on and I'll be heading off this is a hand howl shot taken as I walked into Coniston from the campsite I thought it was um, a nice view so I took the picture, um, but obviously there was no recording or video of this at the time. Right, made it to Coniston. It's only about a mile and a half from the campsite. In a sense, this was the, the end of the first day, so... I worked out about right because I did 15 miles, mile and a half, 16 and a half miles, so. Right, that's the way we're going down there. Got a bridge over the, the back here. Not quite sure what that crag up there is. Um, you can work it out, I'll put the name on the video. That's the road and you can see in the distance there in a bit of cloud I th I'm fairly certain that's the old man of Coniston so I stopped at the petrol station get some snacks um, some biscuits and some sandwiches for my lunch and now I'm going to head on um, the idea is probably to do about at least four to five hours before having um, a long stop um, obviously we'll have short stops in between but we'll see how we keep going so I'll see you on the next one all right we've just come outside of Coniston we've come across this building I wondered what it was um, it's National Trust property and inside there was some boards explaining it and this is actually um, a folly well not totally useless it was built as kennels for the the foxhounds um, but in terms of its grandiose look yeah it would be classed as a folly right just had a bit of a stop uh, i've been going about three hours now making good time but this was a slightly longer stop under the protection of this tree from the the rain initially i thought oh, it's just a bit drizzled at all disappear shortly but I think it's set for the day I don't put my waterproofs on because it's not it's not that bad but I've reorganized the bag um, to try and make sure everything inside stays dry um, I'm not going to put the outside cover on at the moment but um, we're on this path here I suppose it takes us to a waterfall, so 
we'll see what happens. It's not so much fun when it's it's wet. Been past Tarn House, but didn't really take any pictures there. So I'll carry on seeing what this waterfall is like, whether it's weather, take any pictures. So I'll see you on the next one. Right, well we found the waterfall. It's very steep to get down and I don't think it's spectacular enough to to warrant going down. So I don't think we're going to take any pictures. Would have been nice because waterfalls are not as dependent on the light and the weather. But, um, yeah, you can see the path going down. I mean, it would be possible to get down, but... I mean, the main purpose of this walk is to get the Cumbria Way done. Uh, to get pictures if you can. But uh, I just don't feel... Um, we're going to get any decent pictures from from here today. All right, well, we've made it to Skelwith Force, um, and seeing as it's such a good waterfall, been going about four hours. I thought I'd have a longish stop here, have my sandwiches that I bought in Coniston, uh, and take some pictures. So you can see there. taken um, some pictures. I took one at a 30th of a second, <clears throat> so normal exposure, and then some long exposures with a six stop ND filter. I varied the shutter speed, so I did one about a second, two seconds, and three seconds, just to see which comes. Whichever is best, I'll put it up on the video after this so I'm gonna put the camera back in the rucksack get sorted have maybe have a bit more rest a bit to drink <clears throat> and then we'll carry on Right, just had a bit of a refreshment break. I've been going six hours, 12 miles. That's not too bad. I'd like to have got here a little bit quicker, but uh, I've had one or two stops. I hope they got some photos, so. Then we're going, this is Great Langdale. And then somehow we go up. There at the end, not quite sure whether the footpath goes, maybe rounding up. Uh, we'll have to see. But um, next stop with the old Unger Jingle should be there by th within the hour, I would have hoped, and maybe have a, quite a long stop there before. Heading up the mountains to where I'm going to camp tonight, so don't know whether we'll get any more pictures. Uh, I have a feeling once we get up to the top, we're going to be in the clouds, so see you on the next one. Right, I've had quite a long stop here at the Dungeon Gill, old Dungeon Gill. Now I'm going to head up to Stake Pass, where we're going to camp out. Had soup and a roll, so that'll boost the energy. So um, we're just going to head off back. I have a feeling by the time I get up to our own camp, I'll probably be in the clouds. So, but uh, because it was a long stop, I actually turned my GPS off. So. So I'll turn it back on and we'll carry on. Right, we're just having a, a short stop, a bit of a rest. Hopefully we'll get to the, the time where I'm going to camp within the next hour or not. 
that much more, we'll see. But as the valley we've come along and come up, it's quite a slog up here. Done nearly 16 miles. I mean, going nine, well, it's nine hours since I left Coniston. And there's the pass we're going up. I think the town's a little further beyond. Hopefully, the uh, gradient's a little bit less. So, I'll see you on the next one. Oh, I was just going to say, I may take a couple of handheld shots from here. Right, we've arrived on the top of State Pass. Done nearly 16 and a half miles in, or over 16 and a half miles in nearly 10 hours. That's not too bad. And here is the town. Just got to decide where we're going to put the tent. We'll get the tent up and then we'll think about other things. So I'll see you shortly. Right, we've set up camp. I had my dinner. Still got to have my pudding. As you can see, the tent's set up there. So we're set for the night. Not quite sure what we're going to do. I might get the computer out and. Um, do some work on last night, yesterday's photos that I've already loaded up. Um, we'll just have to see, we'll see. Um, no, it seems quite pleasant here. I haven't a clue what the forecast for the morning is, that's why. I've got the tent up and it's dry. And see the tone now. Filtered. Some water. I filled up all the um, uh, the two one litre things are, are full, so don't really want to use those tomorrow. In the temporary one, the two litre platypus one, well, that's got just over a litre in, so I'll use that for drinking and uh, cooking. I uh, can always filter some more in the morning. I just wanted to get quite a bit done, um, just in case woke up and it's either raining or thick mist and didn't want to have to do lots then. So I'm going to, if it's reasonably bright I might stay up for a little while, um, otherwise we're getting into it if it starts to Get Miss Delby into the tent and trying to get to sleep. Alright, see you a bit later. Right, it's gone 8 o'clock and I'm going to try and get to sleep now. Because I'm quite tired. I did process um, all the pictures from yesterday. A little disappointed that there's nothing in it, anything particularly stunning. Um, but maybe the waterfall once and today will be quite good. And hopefully get something tomorrow going around the lake, etc. It did start to rain, so I did uh, come inside. 